The southernmost state in this land of ours is the state of Florida, a peninsula extending more than 500 miles into the blue waters of the West Indies. Florida has a coastline longer than that of any other state and a climate ranging from temperate to tropical. The oldest city of European origin in the United States is St. Augustine, founded by the Spanish in 1565. Originally walled and fortified, the old city is still guarded by these massive gates. In St. Augustine is the legendary Fountain of Youth, said to have been visited by Ponce de Leon in his search for everlasting life. Just outside the city gate, is Fort Marion, built by the Spaniards, called the Castillo de San Marcos. The oldest fort still standing in the country, it is now a national monument. These ancient walls are 12 feet thick, reminders of St. Augustine's role as defender of the Spanish claim to North America. Florida's fertile soil combines with a daily six-hour average of sunshine to produce a year-round abundance of crops. Each year, the winter market receives carloads of delicious celery, thousands of crates of Florida cauliflower, and tons of carrots harvested by mechanical diggers. Perhaps best known of Florida's agricultural products is its citrus crop. From September to June, a large share of the crop pours into huge concentrate plants for culling, processing, and canning, while millions of boxes are shipped by rail to the nation's produce center. The world's principal supply for naval stores is in the southeast. Longleaf and slash pine trees are tapped for the crude gum from which turpentine and various oils are distilled. Another source of Florida wealth is phosphate rock. This processing plant near Mulberry, in the heart of the phosphate mining region, annually produces hundreds of thousands of tons of phosphate for use as fertilizer. In the northeastern part of the state is Jacksonville, Florida's largest city and one of the leading commercial cities on the South Atlantic seaboard. Her busy port serves a rich agricultural area as well as the many industries located within the city itself. Of these industries, cigar making is perhaps the most important. This factory, incidentally, is said to be the largest cigar factory in the world. About 500 miles west of Jacksonville, on Florida's Gulf Coast, is Pensacola. Not only is Pensacola an important fishing port, it is the home of the first United States Naval Air Station. Midway between Pensacola and Jacksonville is Tallahassee. Tallahassee has been the state capital since 1845, the year Florida was admitted into the Union. At Tallahassee is the Florida Agricultural and Mechanical College, a school exclusively for Negroes, and the Florida State College for Women, one of the largest women's colleges in the country. The University of Florida at Gainesville has distinguished itself in scholarship and athletics. Florida's second city is Miami. Here, the summer spends the winter, and the city claims the title Playground of the Nation. This is Biscayne Boulevard, bordered by majestic coconut palms, overlooking famed Biscayne Bay. Each winter, Miami's trailer camps and hotels are filled to overflowing as the lure of Florida's warm sand and water attracts America's vacationists. Another of Florida's famous resort cities is Palm Beach. With its fine residential districts and resort hotels, Palm Beach's reputation as a winter playground for devotees of sun, sea, and society is justly earned. Deep in the Florida Everglades lived the Seminole Indians, against whom the United States fought the only war it ever lost. 
In 1842, the Seminoles retreated into the swamplands. And it was not until 1934 that a truce was signed with these proud and independent people. Through the years, the Seminoles have maintained their culture and traditions. Yet, as this sewing machine testifies, civilization has made its mark. A visit to the Seminoles is only one of Florida's many attractions. Near Lake Eloise are the famed Cypress Gardens. Here, amid exotic surroundings, the visitor may enjoy real southern hospitality, extended by southern bells dressed in crinoline and old lace. Or, if you prefer something a little more exciting, try this sometime. The least you can do is get wet. Rising 230 feet from the crest of Iron Mountain, the highest mountain in Florida, is the Singing Tower, a memorial to the famed journalist Edward Bach. Silver Springs near Ocala, a fairyland of crystal clear water. Looking through the glass bottom of these boats, we see strange denizens of the deep. Hey, what's this? An aquatic bookworm? If you know anyone who wants to buy a crocodile, they're for sale at Florida's Reptile Institute. Or how about a nice rattlesnake for a flamey? A few miles from St. Augustine are the famed Marine Studios, one of the most interesting exhibits of marine life to be seen anywhere in the world. How's that for a leap? A state of infinite variety, Florida is many things to many people. To some, it is history. St. Augustine, with its venerable Fort Marion. The Capitol at Tallahassee. The Naval Air Station at Pensacola. The Commerce of Jacksonville, the state's largest city. To some, Florida is agriculture, truck farms and citrus crops, or industry, phosphate, cigars, and naval stores. But to almost everyone, Florida is a vacation land supreme, a sightseer's paradise. For here is Palm Beach and Miami, playground of the nation. Here are the Seminoles, the Cypress Garden, Silver Spring, and the fascinating Marine Studios. Yes, Florida is a place for rest and recreation under a warm sun and a friendly sky. One of the most attractive playgrounds to be found in this land of ours. 